or the speakers. <laughs> they are big and they are loud. Hi everyone, hope you guys are okay. Today I'm doing a uh, review video about the Panasonic AKX710 sound system. I'm not sponsored by Panasonic, I'm not being paid for this video. It's a sound system I bought for myself and I just thought I'd point out a few good things and not so good to help in your decision whether to go for this or find something else. So when you open the box, the main unit is on top of the speakers and I gotta say I was impressed it's kind of elegant, it's kind of futuristic, I really like the look. So it comes obviously with a CD player, AM and FM radio, it has got 4 gigs of internal storage, 2 microphone inputs, RCA input, um, 2 USB inputs and the Bluetooth, so really have different kind of connections. You can record your songs to your integral storage or one of the USBs, so one of the USBs is the USB connections is actually able to record to a pen drive however if you try to record your karaoke sessions it wouldn't record your voice it will still record the song whatever is playing on the background but it wouldn't record your voice the speaker system or the speakers <laughs> they are big and they are loud both obviously you see the big 20 centimeter super woofer and they claim 2000 watts I mean 2000 watts is beat an over claim I would say, but they are loud. I mean if you live in a block of flats or attached houses, you will have your neighbor knocking on your door if you put this on full volume. You might be able to listen to it on half. Um, other than that, the bad point, well, bad points in my opinion. The speakers come with like about one meter uh, speaker cable. So if you have one of uh, these flat, long TV stands you wouldn't be able to have the speakers on both sides because the cable length just won't be enough. Um, as I said they are loud but then again if you are used to a subwoofer and used to those deep basses of really rich and full sound I don't think you will be satisfied with these. It wouldn't give you that really really deep bass which not all the songs have got that deep bass, so you might not lack it, or you might not miss it. But I mean, some of the modern classical music like Andrea Bocelli, some of the R&B songs, some of the hip hop songs have that really deep bass, even if not all the time. But sometimes in the middle of the song, it just wakes you up, it just gives you that really resonating bass. And these speakers won't give you that. Overall, if you are looking for something loud, to have fun with, karaoke nights, throwing, off, throwing on a party, even probably a garden party, I mean this thing is probably powerful enough, even outside in an open space, to be loud enough. If you're looking for that, it will give you lots of fun, lots of memories. However, if you're looking for something with a full, rich sound, you might want to find something else, maybe something which comes with a subwoofer and give you that deep bass. So I hope I was able to help you guys in your decision. Please like this video if you liked it and have a look around on my channel. It's not a tech review channel, so you might find videos that you might like. And if you do so, please subscribe and I will see you next time.